I'm gonna take this um, translucent, translucent, no. <laughs> wow, very nice, very nice. Hi friends, so today I have a makeup look for you guys. I did post this before on my Instagram and I got an overwhelming amount of requests to do this makeup tutorial, so finally I am doing it. If you also follow Ipsy's Instagram, Ipsy did repost this the other day, so I thought it was quite appropriate to film at the Ipsy studio this week and film this look for you guys. It's a very summery look just with a simple a pop of color and everything else is pretty simple looking. First, before we start this tutorial, I really want to thank the Ipsy team and Michelle Fawn for this opportunity because I never thought in the six or seven months that I've been doing this, especially when I started filming YouTube videos, that I would ever be sitting here in the Ipsy studio filming a look for you guys. So this seriously means more than anything else in the world right now. I feel so grateful to have the followers and subscribers that I do and to be given this wonderful opportunity. Um, other than that, check it down below because everything you need to know is always listed down in the description bar down below. Whether it's um, products that I use in the videos, discount codes, my contact information. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video, follow and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye lovelies. So I already went ahead and moisturized my face. I used my Cetaphil Cream Moisturizer. It's the one in the tube. I've showed you guys a million times. You should know what it looks like. It's amazing. So since we are ready to um, moisturize our face, we are gonna go and prime. Today I'm using this Lancome La Base Primer. It's kind of pricey. I think you can get the same thing at Target. Just use the Maybelline um, Pore Eraser, I believe what that's what it's called. Today I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I'm in the color Natural Beige 105. And then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M439 brush and I'm just gonna pat it into my skin. This is the best foundation brush ever. Now usually if I see, if I have like a little, you know, pimple right there, um, instead of building with foundation, I know later I'm gonna go in with a concealer and powder, so I'm not gonna worry about that little baby right there. So after foundation is done, we're gonna conceal. I'm using my Urban Decay, what is it called? Oven Decay and Naked Spin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is the best concealer I've ever used. So if you're looking for a good concealer, I definitely would go get this at Sephora. Sephora or Ulta, I believe. Yeah, it's a really good concealer. It's very light, um, yet it covers everything. So, superb. So I'm gonna take this concealer and I'm gonna do a little bit under my eye, drag that up just a tiny bit, and this side too. Have fun. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender. Mine is disgusting and ugh, just ignore this. And I'm just gonna blend out the concealer. You see how quickly it just like dissolves? I kid you not, it's the best concealer in the world. And it just covers everything. And if you're new to my channel, I do go a shade in the middle of my actual skin color and then a shade lighter so I can highlight at the same time as concealing. And then I also bring that on my eyelid because then that's gonna act as a good primer base for our shadows later. Yes. Yo. And then what I'm gonna do next to set my concealer is a little bit different. Um, I've never done this on my channel before. I just did it for the first time the other day and it's the whole baking cooking technique. I actually really liked it. Um, I'm gonna kind of teach myself more because I'm really new to it. But I went to Sephora the other day and got the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is actually a really, really good powder. So I definitely recommend this to you guys. Um, it sets my concealer really nice and there's no creasing and it's just like a really smooth surface. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that translucent powder and put it on the lid, um, like so. 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these little sponge things. I got this at uh, Target. I think it was like 30 for like a dollar, not bad. And I'm just gonna take this and spray a little bit of my Urban Decay um, makeup spray just so the powder can stick onto the sponge. And I'm just gonna dab that into the sponge a little bit. And what cooking is, is you put it on the areas that you can see, uh, you use liquid concealer earlier. And so it's just like that. I'm gonna need a little bit more. And so you kind of just let it sit there and you look really weird, but basically the powder is setting that concealer so everything really just sets together and lays really nicely on your face. So I'm just gonna take more of this powder and dab it to where I put my concealer earlier. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the same Laura Mercier translucent powder and just the same thing that I've been doing, but I'm just gonna put it in the bottom part of my chin area right here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna have two of the areas brighten, so it's gonna make our contour pop out later when we contour our face. So after you're done with your powder, you're gonna look super cute, <laughs> and then you're just gonna wait, and you're just gonna do the rest of your face, and later we're gonna go back in with a brush and just feather everything out and clean everything out. I'm gonna work on my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow uh, Pomade, I believe it's called. My color is in dark brown, and I like to use it with the Anastasia number 12 brush. Now that our eyebrows are done, I like to go and set my eyelids before I go in with shadow. So earlier, I have a layer of foundation and then a layer of concealer on. So what I just do is I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just gonna set that eyelid area. Instead of using primer, I find that this technique works way better for me. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with my first color. It is MAC Always Sunny. You guys know that this is my favorite transition color if you're familiar with my videos. Um, I love Always Sunny, it's a really pretty color. I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E40 brush and I'm just gonna work this really gently um, around my crease area. So, the other day I went to Morphe Brushes and I made my own palette. How pretty, yeah? It's so pretty. Um, I guess I should hold it this way because this is how you would see it. So I chose 35 eyeshadows because I believe there are 35 eyeshadows in a regular Morphe brushes palette, but um, this isn't like a Morphe brushes palette or anything. I just went to Morphe brushes and made my own palette because these are the colors that I would gravitate towards every day. So I thought it'd be convenient to make my own palette so I can use it every day. So I'm gonna go in with this dark brown color in it to my crease area and that's gonna give our crease a little bit more definition. Um, we're keeping the upper crease area really simple because the bottom is gonna have that pop of blue, so we don't want too much going on. I'm gonna use my Morphe MB25 brush and take a little bit of that brown and just focus that on the crease area only. So kind of the crease outer V area. I'm gonna take my blending brush and I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm gonna take my MB333 brush and I'm gonna go in with this color right here and we're just gonna pop that under our brows and that's just gonna really pop out the arc of our brows a little bit, you know? So I'm just gonna take that and pop it in this area right here. And that's just gonna give our brows a little bit of a pop. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a Becca Cosmetic Shame, 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 no Shame, Champagne Pop, and this is such a pretty highlighter. It's um, Jaclyn Hill's collaboration with Becca Cosmetics. If you haven't gotten your hands on it, I definitely think you should go and get it. I'm gonna take my Morphe M511, yeah. M511 brush and I'm gonna dab a little bit of champagne pop and I've been really loving this lately I just focus it on the inner corners and that champagne pop is really gonna help brighten out my um, brighten up my eye area and that's all I do just a pop of champagne pop <laughs> a pop of champagne pop 
And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna work on our winged eyeliner. First, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Eye Studio Black Liner in Black is Black. I love this stuff. If you're looking for a good gel liner, just go to Target and grab this. It does come with a brush, but I hate that brush with a passion, so I will never use it. Um, but this is a really good gel liner. So I recommend this, and then I'm gonna do that with a Morphe M160-1 over 16 brush best combination ever. And then to make my liner stay on much longer throughout the day and make it really intense and black, I'm gonna go over the gel liner with the NYX Studio Liquid Liner in Black is Black, or Extreme Black. I'm like making up my own names now, Extreme Black. After my winged liner is done, I'm gonna pop on some mascara, and then I'm gonna use Lily Lashes in the style Miami today. They're very Kylie Jenner, fluffy, and super pretty. So while our false lashes are drying on our eyes, like so, we're gonna take this e.l.f. brush. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. This was only $3, and it is probably one of the best brushes I own. You can find this at Target or Walmart, I believe, but I got mine at Target. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. brush, and I'm just gonna gently dust off the cooking or baking that we did earlier. So I'm just gonna gently dust it off. And you see how it definitely set, set um, the concealer that I did earlier, but it also really kinda gently brighten up those areas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently dust away that powder. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna bronze up our face a little bit. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. This is a face powder, but I went with a, a shade that's super dark, um, so I can use it to contour. And I really like the formula, and the color's really nice also. I use the color C6 Soft Sable. And we're just gonna work it in to the side of her face. So what I do is I dab towards the hairline a little bit, and then I slowly kind of blend it out. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit of that and I'm just gonna warm up my forehead area as well. How, do you see how where we bronzed um, and really focused that bronze color on? It's really bringing in my face rather than having it super round. So today I'm using Gerard Cosmetics um, Star Powder Highlighter in the color Marilyn. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. With this, I'm gonna take my Morphe M501 brush and dab a little bit of that in. And then I'm just gonna work it on the highest area of my cheekbones. And this is just gonna give us a really settled glow. And today for blush, I'm gonna go in with my Lani Luminoso. Um, Milani, I don't know why I said that's so weird. I'm gonna go in with my Sony, Sonia Kashuk Tools Number no. 2 brush. Dab a little bit of that. This is my favorite brush in the world. And I'm just gonna smile and work that on my cheeks. And now we're gonna move on to the fun part of this video is the blue under eye area. The blue that I use is Morphe Brushes, um, one of their gel liners. It's the color blue, B-L-E-W. It's this beautiful shade right here. This is really what inspired the whole entire look because I wanted a pop of color, but I didn't wanna go too overboard. So I kept everything else very simple, um, other than the winged eyeliner, of course. And then I popped this on and it was absolutely stunning. If you don't wanna use blue, you can go right ahead and use other colors. You guys know the rule when it comes to my channel. Make it your creation and it's whatever you feel beautiful in and whatever you feel comfortable with. So you don't have to use blue, um, pink, yellow, purple, whatever, be creative. If you do recreate this look though, um, then tag me in your selfies on Instagram and I would love to see your work. And I'm gonna take my Morphe MB21 one brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of this blue and I'm just gonna work um, 
I'm just gonna follow my waterline. We're gonna go in with the same brush and we're gonna take the Morphe Brushes 35U palette and I'm gonna take this blue tealish color right here and I'm gonna work that into the under eye area. We're gonna use that blue shadow to smudge everything out. And now that is it for the eyes. We're gonna work on our lips now as the last step to this whole look. We're gonna keep the lips very simple because the eyes are so colorful and you have that blue there. But if you wanna do another lip color, then go right ahead. I'm gonna use my LA Girl Cosmetics lip liner in the color Natural Cream. And I'm gonna use this to line my lips. And then I'm gonna use the LA Girl Cosmetics Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. This is a matte liquid lipstick. Um, yeah, <laughs> liquid lipstick. Um, this is one of my favorite liquid lippies. It is by LA Girl Cosmetics and this color is called Dreamy. The last thing we're gonna do is we are gonna spray our face with the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. And this is just gonna lock in our makeup look throughout the day and nothing is gonna smudge. Um, but it's also gonna give our face a little bit more of hydration as well.